Hello, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to use the Windows Construction Tool to create a set of window panels. In this case the window panels are going to be four panels by one high. So we open the Windows Construction These are the existing windows, so let's um, create a new window construction. And we have a grid. Now our grid is going to be based on four panels by one. So we actually create four horizontal panels and one vertical panel. And here you can actually set the size of the panels. Well, my height of my panel is going to be 2.1 meters. The width of each of my uh, panels is going to be 1.25 meters, and I've got to repeat that for each window section, which you can't see until we do it, say OK. And the last one is 1.25 meters. OK, so there's our four panels, and I can center this. Let's in fact let's zoom this in so we can see exactly what we're doing. Right, going to our window construction tool again, I can place four rectangle casements. So I just click on each frame and that places the four casements. Notice that uh, I've got one main external frame. And I can edit this and I'm going to call this bifold door four panel. And it's a door and I can now say the profile of each of my frame. Well, if I change this to 0 0.06, notice the width of my frame changes. So that's changed from 0 0.8, 0 0.08 to 0 0.06 and I can change the profile of my casement as well. And I can say that each casement is going to be fixed so it removes the um, standard window symbols of uh, the hinge top and side. And the last panel is in fact a door, so I can keep my side hinge there. So it's going to be a casement, but hinged. So there's my set of windows. Save my construction and I'll save it and I'll save it as bifold panel 4. In fact, I'm overwriting an existing test I made. And let's go back to our 2D project. Let's place some walls because we need to place the walls in order to place the window in the walls. Then we go to the window and we can scroll down and we'll find my bifold panel door that we just created. Check the height and width is OK, then say OK. So 
zoom in and there's my door shows I've a sill height of 0 0.1 meter I can change the sill details outer sill it's going to be solid not angled and inner sill keep that as default So there's my window. The 3D doesn't show the um, the door and the solid and the fixed panel difference. However, we can now also apply different textures to the frames. I go to materials. And I'm going to select wood. We're now going to place some wood material on the frame. Um, if I prefer, I can actually use uh, a color. So I can select the color option. I'm going to materials and select the color option and I think I'll use a glossy white and we just drag that and the wood is placed by the gloss same for the sill also for the interior sill so there we have our four panel glass section